What's going on, everybody? I'm Jabby Kuwe, joined by Chara Kirk. What's up? We are watching Cricket Fever, Mumbai Indians. This is a Netflix uh, series. If you want to watch the whole thing with us, no cuts, no interruptions, because this is a cut down version of our reaction. It's Netflix, after all. Then you have to head over to our Patreon page, patreon.com slash jabbykuwe, or become a member of this channel where you'll get access to the full uncut reaction, but you will need your own Netflix subscription, so you can open up each episode in an adjacent window to our reaction. We'll give you a three, two, one countdown sync, and it'll be like you're watching it with two of your favorite pals from the internet. Now, if you're watching this on Patreon or memberships already, thanks so much for supporting us here. And if you're watching this on YouTube, hit the subscribe button, bell icon, all notifications, pretty please vote this up. Let YouTube know you're enjoying what you're watching. By the by, one last thing. This is kind of experimental. I'm just gonna be fully transparent with you guys. We have no idea if our audience actually wants a reaction to this. I uh, am taking a gamble here and assuming that you guys would be interested in this reaction. So um, basically this all goes off of the view count that says to us okay audience is interested in this if you get annoyed that we didn't continue with this it's just because it didn't register that the audience was supremely interested in this and on that note there's another netflix thing here called caught out crime corruption cricket if you want a reaction to that do let us know in the comments below i will see it here we go <laughs> that view became very familiar finally the night has come oh. There's nothing bigger than cricket here. Nothing. It's true. <laughs> that kid in the background was cute. The atmosphere is just beyond amazing. It's a party. It's an absolute festival. It's absolutely Wait, they've got cheerleaders? Every single person knows that Mumbai Indians is the most successful franchise in... IPL history, even a sniff out will start a whole story. I'll have zero tolerance to anything when it comes to something like this. Unless it's Netflix filming in the room. For Mumbai Indian, it's very important to finish in the top four. If we don't finish in the top four, it's a big failure for us. So I need to build a squad that wins the IPL. I'm surprised he drives his own car. All these people are basically former India players who all played cricket. So these guys are experts in what we're doing here. Hello. That's smart. He's really young, but he's surrounded himself with smarter people. I think we have our priorities straight when it comes to which players we need to go for. Who are your options? Shit, man. Auction time is the worst time of the year. <laughs> but I'm sure everyone else is doing the same thing, like trying to figure out what Mumbai Indians is doing. Yeah. Whoa! Why? Maybe Why do you need maybe, a machine gun? Maybe it's a water pistol. I always wear something red on my body. It's lucky for me. Okay. India's richest man, who is also the CEO of its largest company. Forbes estimates Mukesh Ambani's net worth as being almost $20 billion. dollars. 2008 and 9, Mumbai Indians were at the bottom of the table. And that's when I took over managing this team. Ah. Knowing nothing about cricket to winning the three championships. I think it has been just a wonderful journey. Wow. Good job. It's very rare that you see a son wanting to be a mother's partner on a sports field. And now my son Akash took over management of Mumbai Indians. I didn't realize who we were watching. Oh, you didn't? No, no. This, it, now, I, now I... I was looking at the face. The franchises have to build new teams. There's a lot at stake. They have to build new teams? Two years ago, we signed Hardik, and then we signed his brother Kunal. We signed him for very little. This year, if we want to get Kunal back, we might be cheap. Renewal is always more expensive when someone does well. Times a hundred, well, probably times a thousand, actually. Wow. I mean, make that bank. Especially because you don't know how long you can p play for, right? This is mine and Hardik's room. Oh. At the age of 16 only, I was like, I have to make sure that I have my, you know, that amazing life which, you know, everyone wants to live. This is Hardik, 16 years old. So cute. Oh. <laughs> All our childhood dreams are 
finally coming true. That's wild, dude. So in 2016, when I joined MI, and when I saw like mine and Hardik's picture on a sports page, like big picture. That's wild. Feels great. We that have is never cool. played against each other. Ooh. Ooh. The only way we could really upset the apple cart is if you don't bid for Kunal. In my team, Kunal is a must buy. Okay. I'm worried about Kunal. I think it'll be the highest Are they going to give up Hardik? Yeah. <laughs> yeah, she's smiling about it too. <laughs> Ooh. Some drama on camera. How exciting. Akash, the camera's on. <laughs> Shut the f up. <laughs> 90, 2, 300, 400. We can see there's at least four teams already in there. The sunrise has come back in. He's straight back from Mumbai now. Okay, there you go. He's gone. Selling 880, says Mumbai. They said no. Sold to the Mumbai Indians. There you go. 1.3 million US. Hello. Sir, congratulations. Thank you, thank you. <laughs> Good thing we have the subtitles on. It's a speaking Hindi. It doesn't actually translate. Rohit Sharma, Hardik, Pumbra, and Krunal Pandya. That becomes a goal this year. Okay. I didn't sleep last night. I slept one hour last night. Oh, yeah. Looks like it. Kishan, 260. 400, they're still there. To Mumbai, 620. Aditya Tare, Mayank Makandi. Oh wow, so these are the like, the lower cost players. Akash Ambani has taken over charge, who's himself extremely yeah, young. Yeah. Mm. Let's see if they win the tournament for the fourth time. Younger also means more resilience, right? Yeah, like stamina. Stamina. This is the area where we used to play football and cricket. Like in cricket, all the walls are for two runs and these people were too strict. Like when anyone's taking a shot and the ball goes over there, they take two, three days to return the ball. Uh, uh. My mom, like, she's praying right now and this is what she does half of the day. From morning to evening, you will see her at the same place all the time, praying to God about me. Most of the time, he, she's talking about me. As far as you know. Aww. That's so sweet. Give do a good perform Oh, look at all oh, the yeah. almonds. No, 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 no. Eat more. Eat more. Win the match. Okay. Win the match. No pressure. Aww. Piara Vika. Full government time. It's a lot of fats. <laughs> Her saying I'll beat you is the most real I know. that she was in the entire <laughs> coverage of that. Ten weeks. We all live at the Trident with the players, with the support wow. staff. Everyone's in the breakfast room together. Everyone is in the meetings together. We see each other probably 18 hours a day. No wonder you were so, so, so surprised he drove himself. Yeah, that's why. Okay. Teams preparing for them. We having a traditional welcome. Oh, how lovely. Just the tea time waiting for them to come in now. <gasps> Everyone's like so excited. Oh, he comes with a backpack and everything? I'm just trying to rest well because we have to start our training tomorrow. Earlier there used to be a problem with starts. All the players come from uh, different countries, uh, different states. Right. It is. We gotta become a team. One, I mean, concern at the moment is Aditya Tare. Why? He had a fracture on his uh, finger. Oh, man. Oh. He's almost there. I think he's, he's got good strength, so we'll try and test him into uh, the return to play phases. Otherwise, the, everyone else is up and down. Yeah, one injury can take you out. Aditya Tare for a very fine innings. Is the man of the match. Like Me growing up in Mumbai, I think uh, nothing better than playing for the home team. Yeah. The main core of the group that we've got this time are new, so it's just going to take a little bit of time to see where they're at in terms of their skills, and then we just judge the performance. That's the toughest thing you've got. 25 players, over half of your squad aren't going to be playing, so the guys know what's on the line here. That starting lineup. <laughs> A lot of pressure. It's like you—you you think you're made it, you know, you're part of the team. Yeah. But it's like, no, we're just getting started. 
Yeah, are you going to be backup or are you going to be first string? We have two keepers, the question is choosing one. We have Tare who has been here before. And then we have um, Ishan Kishan. Good catch. Okay. He has a lot of talent, but he has to challenge it in the right place. Yeah. It's all about improving your game day by day. It's not enough I gotta do this training. I gotta have you ask me these questions. Yeah. <laughs> and I answer them on camera. Last three seasons, I haven't done great in the IPL. Oof. But a kid now, and I wanna make a proud of what I do. I mean, it is a big motivation for me to do well. God, I'm getting those like Jersey feelings right now. Yeah. No, for real. I just tried to hit a few long ones, but I could feel that, you know, the grip was loosening a bit. I'll be honest with you, it is hard, but I have to just be patient. Oh, God. Well, damn. We've got this young whippersnapper here. Just killing it. Last round, boys! Oh, dang. The armed guards and everything. Well, I mean, they mentioned earlier how much I know. security they have. Still, I get nervous when I see the guns like that. Uh, no, you don't. I saw you yell at a lady with a gun. She didn't have a machine gun. She just had a like a sidearm. Okay? That's all. That's it. No big deal. If she had a machine gun, that, I would have thought twice. Should we just quickly go through the week that we had, and then we can plan for the next week? There is. There should be a cutoff time, and just. You can stay up till about two o'clock, but not till four or five. Hmm. <laughs> He's dealing with the younger guys. Look, he's not a single laugh out of him, though. It's very serious for him. This dinner needs to finish before eleven. Before eleven. But if I get hungry, like if I'm up till two or three o'clock. Technically, don't be up. <laughs> Mm -mm. Very difficult to explain the importance of sports nutrition to someone who has never followed any concept. Right. I, see I promise you, I otherwise you're going to become fat the way you are I eating. I like her. You know what is my waist size? She's like? wife material. <laughs> That's what I need at home. Can't eat this, can't eat this, <laughs> eat that. Today will be the first gym session they've had with me. It's just getting to know them a little bit. Um, and introducing them to our expectations in training. So some of them are coming from no formal training background at all. Right. Wow. That's a brutal, brutal way yeah. What's the time? 12. What's the time? Uh, oh shit. Two minutes later, one Fantastic. minute Fantastic. So that means that everyone owes a punishment at the end of the session. Uh. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, that way, way to get everyone to come on time is to punish everyone. <laughs> Did he do 30? <laughs> Whoever they got for sound was excellent. But that guy was going yelping and whatever loud, and you could hear all of it clearly. You're not applying yourself. Oh. You're basically being a dickhead. Yes, <laughs> yes, tell him. <laughs> He's being very naughty. He's got to oh, learn. He'll, he'll get, he'll get he'll, yeah. in shape real quick. He's in the big leagues now. You can't be behaving like that. Every season you, you've got these photo shoots and uh, maybe right. for a sponsor. Uh, yeah, am I just uh, takes it to another level. <laughs> Tough Yorkshireman having some makeup on. <laughs> Hardik, I would say, is one person who's quite popular with the youth. He can't even use tap water on his hair and face. Oh, really? Yeah. You've oh. given out a very spicy bit of gossip. <laughs> Kung Fu Pandya is on. So Ishin will see what he does today. We get a fairly good idea. Okay. Hit the stop. Good. Good. Oh my gosh. Our preparation. Go heading into the first game of the tournament. It's always important how you start. There are only a few places for grabs to build up your squad. Look at the size of those lenses, dude. There's Daddy and Bonnie right there. No pressure. No pressure, you guys. Wow, Sachin as well. If I'm in a position to share my experience with them, then it, it gives me a lot of satisfaction. Wow. You got Sachin there. Giving you like moral support. Yeah. Wouldn't everybody else be like, you know, let's go home. <laughs> Just, like, all the other teams. 
They don't have Sachin. What? Was that bad? Uh oh. Is he cracking? Woo! Aditya is good. They're yeah, looking solid. He's coming back from oh. the injury. And this is home. So now, better than you know, Aditya. So he knows how the pitch behaves here. I'm rooting for Aditya, Tade. Yeah, me too. Shot Just because he seems so humble, you know, and he's like a real team player. And I'm also like, just give the older guy I always another root for the chance. Older guy. I always root for the older guy. Yeah. Do whatever the prep you want to do, and then be ready for the game. Okay. You're ready. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hold on, buddy. Hold on. The coach is really good with that moral support. Yeah. This so it's an Ishan. Ishan. <gasps> He's got something about him. Oh no! I did ya. Oh man. Oh. A lot of the guys have improved a lot from where we started. We need to keep learning, we need to keep pushing ourselves. The opposition is going to be. Here's the deal Mumbai versus Chennai. It's going to be all kinds of emotional. Can I hear you say Mumbai? Mumbai! Mumbai! She's a good DJ. Yeah. Whether it is a playing 11 or people who are also supporting in the bench. The win belongs to all of us and we are equally responsible for the losses. Mumbai! Yes. Mumbai! Yes. Come on, give it some welly. Oh, wow. I knew it was going to end there. It Dang had to. it. No, that, was, that was good. I mean, I really enjoy this kind of stuff. Yeah. Because uh, for me, I enjoy the drama that goes into the sport more than watching the sport. Yeah, I think so as Way well. Way more. Like, I can get hooked into, like, the characters involved, so to speak. You know, I know the real people. Like, the way that they're shooting this is, like, really well done documentary style because they are establishing characters and right. they're telling a story that we're getting, like, really wrapped up into. Yeah, wrapped up in their personal drama. I know. Their, their personal hurdles and whatnot. Like, Aditya Tade, I was just really rooting for him because, like you said, it's kind of reminded me of Jersey because he's older. Yeah. And, like, he's not, he doesn't have that kind of young spunky energy like the other guys that are, have most of the team yeah right because that's what Ambani went for was a younger team and I was really hoping you know with his ex experience and all that he would be one of that starting 11 but I guess it's just not this time around uh, please don't ruin anything yeah. in the comments below I like, know. Yeah. I'm enjoying the drama that we've got going on here and also I, when I saw that it was 2018 I was like oh well, we could just spoil it for ourselves and find out who actually won the IPL that year, but I'm not going to. So yeah. no spoilers, you it, guys. It is it is really cool that you get an intimate look at the ongoings of you know what happens in the locker room and like, yeah. the training and whatnot. Like it was educational because even down to the the bidding for particular players and what goes into that. You know, that's so strange to me how that operates. It's like, okay, after a season, then you kind of go through this round again. That's like, that's wild. I mean, yeah, I mean, I guess there's, there is the possibility that, you know, you can get dropped or, yeah. you know, if you're a valuable player and they want to keep you in the core team, then they'll keep you. But yeah, there's like, there's no guarantees at all. Right. You know? Just that, that the whole process to me is quite interesting. They do that in the West as well. Yeah. Um, with NFL players, basketball players, baseball players, etc. That's just a very fascinating kind of element of the whole thing. And you could end up anywhere. And like the brothers could end up playing against each other. Yeah. You know, I'm glad that they got to play together. But I do feel that that plays better in terms of like optics and social media and stuff like that, because there is a feeling of like excitement that you get two brothers on the same team. Yes. But can you imagine if the brothers had to go head to head? Like, that would the story also, would be like, yeah. exhilarating, you know, which one? And then like, you know, the team that wins in that particular game, that's the one that gets to go home and eat. <laughs> <laughs> no. Yeah, no, it was I, I'm cool. proud of both of you, yeah. but more so him. <laughs> exactly. It was cool getting to see, like... The family uh, dynamics. Yeah, the family dynamics, a glimpse yeah. into, like, their background and, and stuff like that for a lot of these people. And it is interesting to see how much family plays into, like their lives and their support. The one thing I wonder about when it comes to that stuff is how much of it is genuine, you know, because I, any documentary, there's going to be some degree of, okay, let me position the people here. Okay, you go ahead and talk about the thing you want to talk about. 
and we'll just put the camera person over here. Like, not all of that is completely fresh. Sure, yeah. You know, completely, yeah. exactly what the conversation would be if no one was filming. Uh, just subjects behave different under observation. That's just a well-known fact. Right. right, but then once you get to a certain degree, like, we don't know how long they actually spent, like, if how long they were there before they started training, but they will be with them for, for the whole IPL. That's a long time. Yeah. So maybe as the series goes along. Well, I was more so talking along, about the family stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. yeah. More so the family stuff. With, with with regards to what's happening in the field, I believe all of that. Yeah. Especially because this is being shot with super long lenses far away from the subjects. Yeah. And I think that after a while, you forget you're mic'd. Exactly. It, ha it happens all the time on set. Yeah. Where people forget that they're mic'd and they say things they didn't mean to have captured on audio. And so I can imagine that when you're in the heat of this moment, when you're like in the throes of trying to make sure that you're part of that starting 11 to keep your spot, you know, and like be a star player, you're gonna forget that the that there's recordings going on. Yeah. Until someone's in your face again with a camera, and it's very obvious that they're asking you a question directly. Until that, you know, you forget that that's happening, and you're just, you know, I am the prize kind of thing. Yeah, yeah. So, so every time the coach was talking, I genuinely believed everything he was doing in those moments, as that's authentically him, as far as I could tell, because he probably forgets that there's a recording happening. Yeah, and he, I really liked him as well, just because like sometimes in my mind when I think about coaches I guess I kind of think about more of the tough love school of coaching whereas yeah, that's I, what I experienced yeah, yeah whereas he's much more like nurturing. supportive and nurturing yeah. and he has like a really gentle soft energy to him but mm -hmm. still like encouraging you to do your best but then I suppose even within the coaching team I didn't realize they had so many different people for different things like you've got a fielding coach you've got like the head coach you've got like the conditioning coach the conditioning coach Coach is the one who's bad cop you know yeah, he'll yeah. be there he'll be ready to like tell you what's up and make sure that you're disciplined and all that yeah. and so it's interesting that not only do we have the cricket team as far as the players go whether they're like the the starting 11 or on the bench but also the team when it comes to the coaches and the owners and yeah. everything like that good selection for the audio guy uh by the producers because anytime people got loud the yeah. audio was not lost or muddied you know i've seen interviews where that's happened a bunch of times yeah where it's just like I, it gets scratchy or whatever because the sound guy wasn't prepared don't know how they recorded it but they did a really good job and number two is hats off to the editors on this because yeah. you know you're taking Taking gobs and gobs of footage and I mean, I guess the producers as well, right? Yeah. You're you're trying to focus it into a narrative that makes sense for an audience to digest. And that is riveting and interesting yeah. because it really is the mark of like good documentary filmmaking where you can take a lot of that footage because as you say, they're taking a lot of footage and then like post the fact or maybe yeah. during it trying to figure out what is the storyline that we're trying to tell because ultimately it is a story yeah. yeah i would argue that the amount of footage that you have to cut down uh from you know a documentary versus like a movie is significantly more yeah i, I mean I, this is 2018 we're finally watching it in 2023 you right. said this just came out right i don't know Oh, but I mean, it was just, just it was it? literally just recommended to me on Netflix. So I oh, imagine okay. it just came out. What I'm driving at with regards to oh, 2019 is when it came out. Oh, OK, so, so I guess it didn't really take that yeah. long. It just took us a while to get to it. Yeah. It's still riveting nonetheless. And yeah. It's still fresh for us. Yeah. So, uh, and you guys can let us know if we should continue with it or not. But I found this, you know, quite fun and interesting. Oh, so with regards to like just the sheer volume of footage, I feel like you're just constantly recording when it comes to a documentary like this because you don't want to miss the moment. You yeah, know. you never know what the moment is going to be. Exactly. And so you're just recording gobs of footage and hoping that it all comes together in the editing room. And and so the editors did a great job of narrowing that down and focusing it. Um, obviously, there's a degree of writing involved to make it right, but I, I think they did, they did a great job. Yeah. So, you guys, thanks so much for hanging out. Let us know if you want us to continue the series. I'm Jabby Koi. This is Achara Kirk. Peace out.